Bosomodo, a rural farming community in the Shama district of the western region, faces severe water crisis. With a population of approximately 500, residents rely heavily on the polluted Pra River despite its contamination from upstream illegal mining activities. It is 6.30 a.m. here at Bosomodo. School-going children are collecting water from the polluted river for their families and personal use, including bathing for school. Teachers also depend on the river for daily activities, but they decide to wait for two days or more for the water to settle due to high turbidity levels. The teachers say it is a daily struggle to access clean portable water. Our water here, here is very bad because here no, we are just close to the pra, which is at the back of the school. So due to that, you know, we don't have any source of uh, water here. We only depend on that water. water. The water, when the children are being taken, the water is very pathetic because we learn that the water is very popular. It has been poisoned by chemicals. And then when the children take it, me, I'm a mother, I feel it. I feel it for them. So we, the teachers, we, we are trying to get our water like the poly, uh, pure water and then we have been taken by the children that their parents cannot afford it for them. Abigail Amuzu is a teacher at Busundu. The children will fetch water for us. They'll go to their prime and fetch water, which of course is just behind the school. So they'll fetch the water and put it in these tanks for us. So this is it. So when they fetch the water and put it in this tank for us, we just put alum in it. So this is the color. After we put in the alum in it, this is the color of the water. Please, it's serious. This is the color of the water after putting the alum in it. So this is what we are using to bath, to be honest. Now, after putting the alum in it, and you think that they'll say, oh, when you put alum in it, the water will get settled. It will not get, this is the exact color. After two days for allowing it to cool down. According to her, they spend about 50 cities on sachet water every week. Because we use it to cook, wash and brush. Now, we use it to rinse our things after washing, especially when you wear white thing and use this water to wash it. You can't use it to wash it. So after using this um, settled water to wash it, you have to use pure water to rinse it so, so that um, it will become a bit clean. So we spend a lot, approximately 50 cities a week on water. Abigail further reveals many teachers refuse posting here due to the water challenges. The water situation here is the reason most teachers have decided not to come. Currently when we were coming, we were about six. Two got here, they, they decided to, to, to take us on a tour. When they told us that this is the water we are coming to use, four went and they didn't come back again. So, so far, it's only the two of us that have decided to stay. So, the children to meet teachers, they are good. They are, but some of these little situations are very bad and deterring others from coming. The Bosom do teaching staff say they strongly support banning of small-scale mining, citing its harmful impact on local water sources. 100% I support it because I am a first-hand victim suffering from the polluted water. Munjai small-scale mining in the mining system in the area, and the mining system in the area, and the mining system in Very pathetic. Old jokes aside, see, if you are sitting somewhere and, and they are talking of the Galamsi and you think it's not affecting you, you are just, a, you are just kidding. You are just kidding. See, we are all drinking from this. From cooking, to washing, to bathing. If you bath, you brush your teeth. So this is what they, they are filtering for you to do. See, let's all wake up one morning and say we are saying no to this galamsey. We are not joking. It's serious. The first day I saw this, I, I thought it was a joke. This is the water. This